Hey, welcome to my Wealthy Affiliate versus Site Sell analysis. You may have seen the owner of Solo Build It, Ken Envoy, recently wrote a review of Wealthy Affiliate. In it, he attacks the methods used by Wealthy Affiliate and does a comparison with Solo Build It. I decided to take a look at it and give you my views on what he says. The review is so long and thorough that it's split into three parts. The first part accuses wealthy affiliates of various things. The second part thoroughly explains the methods behind their study. And the third part gives the results of the study. I started reading part one fully expecting it to be full of nonsense, but actually it makes a lot of valid points about the way wealthy affiliate conducts its business. For example, Affiliates are encouraged to write reviews of other products and conclude that Wealthy Affiliate is the best. This leads some affiliates to write fake reviews of products they have not tried just to funnel people towards Wealthy Affiliate. It's difficult to find information about how successful people really are at Wealthy Affiliate. Wealthy Affiliate members are encouraged to waste time posting content to Wealthy Affiliate itself. Many of these posts on Wealthy Affiliate are just pointless personal or motivational posts that don't really add anything of value. The free membership and the free websites will not lead to success. They are just there to lure you into the premium membership. Wealthy Affiliate does not give adequate guidance on how to choose a niche. Affiliates are lured by the possibility of going to Las Vegas if you make 300 sales in one year but very few members ever reach this goal. Negative, negative information about Wealthy Affiliate gets suppressed and you cannot get a refund. However, there are some things that the site sell review got wrong. For example, Wealthy Affiliate's website feedback system is actually rather helpful. Content that members post to Wealthy Affiliate gets indexed by Google and if someone joins Wealthy Affiliate after clicking through from Google to something you posted, they will become your referral. And the training is more up to date than the site sale review claims, and on the whole it is excellent training. Part 2 is kind of boring, but he did warn us about that. It goes into a lot of detail explaining how they did the study. To cut a long story short, the study involves discovering all the active websites hosted by Wealthy Affiliate, discovering all the active websites hosted by Solo Build It, using website analytic tools to determine the traffic ranking of each website, then comparing the traffic rankings of Wealthy Affiliate and Solo Build It websites. Part 3 has a lot of words repeating what Part 1 and Part 2 already said, explaining the bad things Wealthy Affiliate has done and then explaining the study. Eventually we do get to the results, and if I just scroll down, you'll see. So here's the chart here. So basically it says that Solo Build It's websites get a lot more traffic than Wealthy Affiliate's websites. The problem here is that, in itself, this does not necessarily prove that Wealthy Affiliates websites are less successful than Solo Build It's websites. It's possible that Solo Build It's websites could be getting loads of traffic but not earning much money. We just don't know. But as Ken himself said, it's not possible to measure the earnings of all those websites. So we will never know for sure which out of Wealthy Affiliate or Solo Build It is the best way to make money with a website, unless we try both for ourselves and try to find out that way. So, in summary, many accusations fired at Wealthy Affiliate here are true. Some miss the points, the stats are interesting, but it's difficult to know the truth for sure. I was very interested to read the comments about this from both sides. Solo Build It members defended Solo Build It, and Wealthy Affiliate members defended Wealthy Affiliate. That's to be expected, really. But what do you think? Why not post me a comment below with your own views on this? Anyway, thanks for watching my analysis of the Wealthy Affiliate vs. Sitesell review, and I'll see you later.